Hi, and welcome to my guide of the quest Tears of Gothics. There are no quest requirements, but you will need to have at least 43 quest points. Stat requirements are 20 mining, crafting, and 49 fire making. I just need it. A chisel, dinner box, any kind of pickaxe that you can use, a cut sapphire, and a regular bullseye lantern. I will suggest three methods how to obtain this item. The first one is simply to buy this by using the Grand Exchange. The second one will require you to have 49 crafting and smithing. You will need to have one swamp tar, molten glass and a glass blowing pipe, steel bar and a hammer, as well as 49 smithing and crafting to be able to make it yourself. First, go to any anvil with your steel bar and then make the frame. Then blow the molten glass into a lens. Then add the lens to the frame. And now you simply need to add the oil. To add oil, you will need to make your way to Remington. There, go to the chemist's house and you'll find an oil still. Use a swamp tar on it to make some oil. Then use the bullseye lantern on it to add the oil to the bullseye lantern. And then you will have the required item. For the third method, are for the people that don't want to use a GE, as well as the people that don't want to get the 49 crafting and smithing. Therefore, you will need to have a swamp tar, 600 coins and access to Dorgish Khan. Here at Miltok, here at the market of Dorgish Khan, let's trade this guy and he will have an empty bullseye lantern in stock so you don't need the 49 crafting nor the 49 smithing. Now simply use one swamp tar on the lamp still and then you can add your empty bullseye lantern on it to fill it up. Since I have two, I can already make like two of these. For the recommended items, nothing if you have completed the quest The Lost Tribe. If you have not started that quest, then you will need to probably have a rope and a spiny helmet would definitely be helpful. For the teleports, is then simply one after the quest is completed. Before we're gonna make our way to the quest start, let's first use our sapphire on the bullseye lantern and then light the sapphire lantern. Next, let's make our way to the quest start. There are two methods. If you've started the quest The Lost Tribe, then you've already made this hole in the Lumbridge Castle's basement. From there, simply run south. If you haven't made the second hole, simply use your pickaxe on the rubble and keep running south and you will end up at the quest start. Now, if you do not want to start the quest The Lost Tribe, then you will probably need a rope and a spiny helmet because you will need to pass a lot of wall beasts. Simply follow the map that is currently on the screen until you've made it to the cave leading to the quest start. Once you've made it to this area with the chasm and the light creatures, simply use your sapphire lantern, be sure that it is lit, to the nearest light creature. This will cause it to go towards you and it will take you across the chasm. Once we've made it to the other side, go a bit south and you'll find a lot of rocks. Mine one of them, doesn't really matter, and then run east. On our way east, use your chisel on the magic stone to make a bowl, oh never mind. Simply go east and climb the rocks. Next, run northeast to the quest start. Let's talk to Juna and select option 1. After the cutscene is over, let's use our chisel on the magic stone, then talk to Juna to complete your quest. And congratulations, you've completed the quest Tears of Gothic. You are awarded with 1 quest point, 1000 crafting experience, ability to use the game necklace teleport to Tears of Gothic, as well as access to the Tears of Gothic minigame. You can play this minigame once every week. Simply collect tears from the blue streams until the timer runs out and each collected tier will grant you 60 experience in the skill that you have currently the lowest amount of XP in. This will change however to 66 XP per tier 
once you've completed the Lumbridge Heart Diary. And that will conclude my guide how to complete the Tears of Gothic's quest. Hopefully it has helped. Subscribe, rate and comment. Okay, thanks, bye. Oh, by the way, I completely forgot. If you want to get your sapphire back, simply extinguish your sapphire lantern, use your lantern lens on it, and there you go.